Hello everyone and welcome back yet again to the channel to another video about Yahaha. I've spent a lot of time working out how the node graph functions and I want to give you a sneak peek of the next space that I'm currently preparing. Um, the scope of my last uh, spaces that I made was really really big so I uh, intend to make this much 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 smaller um, and this is also about a passion of mine that I indulge in every now and then whenever I play video games especially whenever I play Terraria. This thing that I speak of is fishing. Yeah, as you can see I've got a lot of time spent in Terraria and uh, most of the time is actually spent fishing. I have a chest full of fishing gear and um, the fun thing about this is the crate fishing seen here. And yeah, so I wanted to make a small Yahaha game about fishing as well. This is what I'm currently working on. Um, so, yeah, I will have to make a few <clears throat> models of uh, for myself that I want to use in the game, which I will do about the um, yeah in the next week, uh, a few fishes and a few other things. But um, overall, um, I am positive. So by now, I'm positive that I uh, will be done next week. So one thing that I saw when I was when I was uh, working this far is that the scope of my island is actually way bigger than anticipated. Um, and yeah, I actually didn't want to have people run around all all over the map, so I had to make this a lot smaller. This was my first try in making this a lot smaller. So right now I'm just at or uh, this point in the video I'm just at uh, actually sculpting the whole uh, island so this is a small end space and this is still way too big so I have to make this even smaller and in the end this is just a tiny tiny island in the middle of the ocean which is perfect because um, who wouldn't want to live in an island in the middle of the ocean um, with no boat and nothing and just a fishing rod and yourself yeah so, um, after raising the sea level a bit, because global warming is not a joke, um, I've made a new island, and this is where we are. Um, it's not pretty, but it works. Okay, uh, island size is fine, so let's go and... Um, yeah, work actually out the mechanics of this. So I was looking forward to this to work with the node graph. And the first thing I did was actually um, not node graphing, but making a few uh, bridges or, or footbridges so that um, I have a space to work on. So my, my idea is you walk onto a footbridge, you can fish on the footbridge and you get your fishing stuff that you get on the footbridge. So basically, your footbridge, your stuff, um, is the base idea. So what I did is I set up the bridge uh, with a um, with an empty object that is that has a trigger box, which is basically the fishing zone in which you fish. Um, each of the bridges has their own zone, so basically each of the bridges get their own node graph, but I can just copy paste the node graph and um, change the details of um, of two or three little things. So basically um, I have to make one node graph and then I can copy paste this onto every bridge, which is the base idea, and I will and actually will see the no uh, the node graph in action. So I actually, after a bit of, of back and forth and, and trying stuff out, it I got it to work. So 
can already see the first fruits of our labor here. Okay, so each of the um, each of the three biomes. So yeah, this is terraria inspired. So we have three biomes: a meadow, um, a snow biome, and a desert biome. More or less, or you can call it a beach, grassy hills, and snow, if you like. Um, yeah, each has three uh, docks or three um, piers where you can um, fish, basically. And um, yeah, each of these has a different material, so you can see that I used three different uh, um, um, types of. of of runway here because I wanted to have them visually different but the mechanic will be the same yeah so I'm setting up the uh, fishing thing and I actually I didn't know how far I could throw an object uh, so I wasn't sure how big the um, the uh, trigger zones had to be actually speaking of throwing objects uh, nowadays uh, so now in Yahai you can actually add throwing objects, uh, thrown weapons and stuff. Uh, you will see this a few times because I have used the thrown weapon mechanic for my fishing rod here. Um, you will see this in a second. Um, so I set up basically an example. Um, there's a built-in thrown weapon like a ball and a few other. Um, so yeah. Um, I basically have a fishing lure, I have a fishing rod, and I need a VFX. And first thing I have to do is I have to set up the uh, lure or the, the fishing bobber, basically the one thing that you throw in the water, um, the hook, basically, um, which is um, which is a spawnable item, which has the physics material, and which has, is a rigid body. Um, and the um, the thing you have in the uh, in, in your hand is the fishing rod, which is set up as a tool, as a thrown weapon, and yeah, it has a um, it should have a VHX that should be played whenever um, yeah the 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 thing despawns. But uh, I don't know if that actually works or not. Um, but but yeah, I have to set it up. Um, so yeah, it's set up anyway. Okay, so we have the fishing rod with the lure here. Um, I did a little mistake. Um, the little mistake is that your lure actually needs a um, needs a collider, which I forgot to add. So basically, I was. Try, try, right now I'm trying to figure out why isn't my object um, moving like thrown objects move. So I use the ball and you can see that the ball actually is thrown but the lure is for some reason is not. And then I dawned on me, hey wait, um, does the thing actually have a... Uh, um, does it have a collider and no it didn't so I added a collider and lo and behold you can't see it because it's too fast but it works um, yeah so bonus points it, it works and you will see this in the very end when you have the um, normal speed uh, test run of everything right now I'm setting up the um, the fishing rod that it's actually in your hand that it's not uh, somewhere weird um, yeah, so now it's in the direct uh, direct uh, angle, so now I just need to uh, reset the position um, so that it's actually uh, in my hand. And yeah, uh, with a bit of, of trial and error, I managed to put this um, where it actually should be. And the next thing I wanted to set up is basically a table so that I have all the objects that are spawnable. All the objects that I don't want to have um, at the start lying around somewhere visible um, on, a, on a separate plate. So first thing I wanted to set up is a an empty object and an empty box in which 
a fishing rod spawns whenever, whenever a player spawns. So that was my first idea. And we are right back in the node graph. So, um, for those who've seen my previous uh, video, I'm starting with an event, which is a uh, player joins the game. It spawns a fishing rod and um, for a position I uh, used the uh, position of the empty object and lo and behold it works. Um, I tested this with another player, with another, with another uh, person. So yeah, the fishing rod spawns whenever a player joins, which means every player gets their own fishing rod. There should be enough fishing rods for everyone. Okay, uh, next is to set up the actual fishing. And this is uh, this was uh, quite a thing, and there were quite a few things that I didn't um, uh, manage to see. So yeah, um, there's just a few simple uh, fish. I'm, I will do my own models um, on the, in the week. And each of those is a spawnable object, which is basically all I need. Um, what I need is also um, a node graph, and this is the node graph. And I will show you a few new things. So, we're starting with an object that has some trigger. We're adding the trigger zone, which is the trigger zone we set up earlier. And now we have a first branch because um, we want the object that enters the trigger to be not the player. So second branch, um, if the object is not the player, only then we go forth. And now we have a random float, which means the thing, uh, the, the random float creates a number between 0 and 1 in this case, um, which is then stored as a valuable. And um, yeah. If that valuable is less than 0 0.3, then and here gets the, we start with the interesting things. Um, then it spawns an object, which uh, should spawn about there. This was my idea. I'm setting up basically a a spawn point there for the fish. Um, so first problem uh, that I encountered, which I didn't know, was um, that the name I put in the spawn was actually not the no, no, the actual first uh, problem was that I didn't find my setup object in my position box, so I had to manually drag this out and set it up. But this, okay, th so far this worked. Um, I put in a delay that um, the fish only spawns after one or two seconds after you throw the lure, so you have basically have a small delay between throwing the lure and getting the fish. Then I copy pasted the whole bunch um, so that if you fish some, uh, if, if you have a number other than 0 0.3, if you have a higher number, you fish something else. You fish the second fish and if you are, if, if the random value is higher than 0 0.6, remember it can be between 0 and 1, then you would fish the crate or the lockbox or whatever and yeah everything is set up or so I thought um, first test okay and apparently nothing happened I was like why is nothing happening okay maybe maybe I maybe I was on the wrong uh, 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 pier but I wasn't so um, quick check up let's see if everything works let's see if um, the things are actually activated and fire, so we're setting up a few print nodes um, that I just can see um, if the node is actually, if the whole thing is working and it's just uh, something else. Um, and so far I noticed that nothing's working. So where did I go wrong? Let's uh, check the node graph again. Um, so. First test was, okay, is the node actually firing? Uh, is it part of the weapon? So this weapon works. Okay, perfect. The uh, pre-installed throwing weapon works. Is it my weapon? Is it, is it, is it, the, is it the fishing lure? Um, so this was my next thing. Is it, is it the, is it, 
Yeah, but but I didn't actually check if it was the fishing lure. So uh, instead of rechecking, I basically just um, went on and tried to well, ping. And then I thought, hey, I apparently forgot to um, set the position. So basically, the the position is never actually set, so he doesn't know where to spawn this. Um, I also could put in the delay just once instead of three times. So I changed the note graph a bit. Um, tried again. Nothing happened. Nothing spawned. So I was like, okay, where did I... What's going on? Why isn't, isn't it working? Um, so I tried to, to add, uh, change a few uh, pieces and tried to see if maybe some of the notes were not working or if... if something else had, had didn't go, had gone wrong um yeah so um, apparently I got a got an error message and um, I mistyped the behavior spawnable names so what I did is I, I put there I put capital letters in there but I didn't put the capital letters in the spawn names which apparently, yeah, it can't find it and it can't spawn it. So I was, okay, now it should work and um, no, it didn't. For some reason, it still didn't work and I had no idea why. And apparently this was um, something that I wanted to fix. So I went forth and um, tried a few different things, tried to see if it was actually really the lure, uh, the, the fishing rod that I set up or if it was something else. Um, So I decided to um, rework uh, to 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 uh, set the uh, node with the with the spawner back in with the spawn position basically, um, and then I added some prints again. So I knew that hey, uh, would it does it actually branch or does it does it stop before the branch? Um, where the where the actual problem? Where does it where does it stop? Well, which part doesn't work? Basically, was figuring, trying to figure out, um, and and apparently everything works. Everything fires. I get all the triggers that I want. Um, I get all the prints in in the in the console that I want. So I still didn't have an idea. I tried out um, yeah the ball again. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. Um, I I um, un unhooked the trigger, uh, the delay there. So uh, yeah. Um, this wasn't it. Okay, the thing that actually didn't w work was the coordinates. Because the object that I had set up was a part of a, uh, of a group and that messed with the coordinates of it. So here's how it's supposed to be. A delay of a few seconds and then we have our loot. Yeah, so um, the thing was actually just that if you put stuff in groups, in, in parent childs or in uh, groups, then it messes up the whole coordinates. Um, but yeah, um, should I have known because I encountered that problem a few times before, but yeah. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will test out the space when I um, release it. Um, thanks for watching and see you guys around.